Manis, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Please give us some of your takeaways from this sit-down. Uh, you're the only television broadcaster to get this sit-down with the foreign minister of Iran at this really critical point right now in the world. Well, Amory, we're here actually at the Iranian Commission. We're in the midtime of New York, where uh, this minister spoke to the UN and he said there was a very important moment just before he came and sat down. This is Amir Abdullahian he, saying that talking to Ryan ceased fire, and I really tried to push him, in other words, his ability, his power, his influence with the groups of Hamas uh, and Hezbollah, his ability, does he still have the power to try and lobby for uh, de-escalation and release of prisoners? During the conversation, he said that he had very clearly advised and given his advice to Hamas uh, when he met them just a couple of weeks ago, which was around the release of civilian prisoners. He would not be pressed on when. He would not be pressed on the timing. He called for a complete ceasefire before that happened. Now, Amory, you and I both know that this is a very delicate moment in this war between Hamas and Israel. When I pushed him in terms of what Iran's role was doing in terms of upping their presence around the region, uh, I would say that this, for me, was the standout. I asked him, are you upping and delivering more troops into Syria since October the 7th? Are you deploying more naval assets since September the 7th uh, attacks? It was very clear and unequivocal that he had not sent more troops to Syria since these attacks. He had, and by the way, he had denied at the very start of the interview, if you forgive me, I'm trying to recall an interview which is literally just live in the past 20 minutes, at the very start of the interview, he denied in some way these attacks uh, overnight by the United States of America on uh, IRGC assets, the self-defense strikes. But Anne-Marie, it was very clear, he, I think he almost wanted to try and make the point that he had not upped the Iranian deployment of troops, mm -hmm. of naval ships. He did push back at me and say, did I know how many troops had been deployed by the United States of America? He made it very, very clear that his view was that the United States was driving this war. That was his view. Uh, and we did discourse that. So the top takeaway from this is really the, in his words, it does not appear that they have upped their escalation in delivery into Syria, into those powerful uh, trade routes for the world, Amory. And then, just as I was getting to the acceptance of a two-state solution, which is the world talking about, the minister left. Well, Manus, we actually have a bit of your interview, that sit-down you just conducted with Hossein Amir Abdullian, and once again, he takes aim at the United States. Take a listen. If the United States continues what it has been doing so far, then new fronts will be opened up against the United States. Manas, what a comment. The new fronts will be opened up against the United States. He came to New York with a clear message. You know, Amory, I put this to him, and I need to go back and listen to the verbatim, so forgive me if I paraphrase here, uh, and it is not absolutely exact. I pushed him a little bit on, you are here in New York, are you delivering a message of threat to the people of the United States of America on land, in country? And I think that's where he said, you know, prepare if this really does get worse uh, in terms of the Hamas-Israel conflict. Um, be prepared uh, globally. It, it, it is my sense. I asked him, would it be an escalation on all fronts? And he said, really, you should uh, prepare. He did talk a lot during the past 20 minutes about de-escalation around ceasefire. But again, I would need to go back and, and listen rather than paraphrase on such a delicate subject. I think it's important that we reflect for a moment on these words from uh, Amir Abdullahian uh, and, and digest them for what they mean uh, for the message from Iran here in New York. Anne-Marie.